And there you have it right there, folks, identified by the serial number, the Hardware 3 full self-drive computer. Hey guys, Trev here, cruising through town in the Model 3 now. Uh, today I want to talk about Hardware 3. Uh, the reason for this is the most recent Tesla update has actually uh, put the full self-driving features as a simulation, basically to show what the visualizations would look like uh, for that. Now Canada, uh, where I am, did not get that as part of the update, very sad. Uh, but this is not, you know, this is not unusual. Normally Tesla updates uh, for the Model 3, uh, for Canada anyways, they come about one or two weeks later than our US friends. I don't know how it is in the UK, but for me anyways, it's been about two weeks delayed for any Canadian updates, uh, sometimes a little bit longer. But with that being said, it was noted from Elon that only people with hardware three or greater would have this update. And I thought to myself, of course I have hardware three. I got my car in September of 2019. But apparently, according to some online, uh, I don't, uh, because there are cars being delivered with hardware 2.5, even up to September being claimed. And this worried me quite a bit because I don't wanna have that fear of missing out uh, for my car that would have hardware three. Now I did buy full self drive, so I should have it. So I started digging around online and people were like, oh, if you can see cones in your visualizations, then you of course have hardware three. So I looked and I found that I can see cones. Uh, so then I thought, oh, cool, good. I have hardware three, no problem uh, whatsoever. Now, again, I started doing research online and some people with hardware 2.5 said that they can see cones. So I was like, oh my gosh, how, how do I tell here? How do I actually definitively tell if I have hardware three or not? And there is one way to do it and I'm gonna show you guys how to do it right now. Okay, so the first thing we have to do is determine what we are looking for in this hardware three computer. So you can go to the Tesla parts catalog online and there's a general public login that you can use your normal Tesla account for. Now we go over to model three and then if we're looking through, it's actually pretty neat to, uh, to take a look and see all of the different systems. And there's no actual, I know a lot of you guys are gonna be uh, curious, but there's no actual pricing on any of this stuff. A lot of it just says calls in, uh, but you do go to car computer here and under car computer, uh, under entertain or infotainment, we have the actual computer here, which is behind your glove box. That is the location there. And then if we look down, we have the actual um, part numbers here. So it has car computer hardware 2.5. And then we can see the part number right there. And then we have hardware three. And then we can see right there, it's 146 two, five, five, four S. And then it's, it's going to be zero or one or a different number, but that's just the series in which they were printed. But the important thing is this right here, the one, four, six, two, five, five, four. So if you have that stamped on your uh, computer itself, then you have uh, hardware three. So now let's go take a look at how to get to this. It's really easy and uh, you'll know and have an answer to your question very soon. Okay, so for this one, you're gonna actually be sitting in the footwell of your car or reaching down in, depending on how big you are. But uh, all you're gonna need is one flathead screwdriver like this one, and that's gonna take care of this whole thing and will be wrapped up here in about five, 10 minutes. Okay, so here is our target area right underneath the glove box. This is where your um, full self-drive hardware three, possibly hardware 2.5 computer lives. And you'll see the access point is actually just a couple of bolts. So these are actually like little kind of push tabs here. You'll see there's one, two, three, and then way in the corner, we got the fourth one, uh, fourth one right there. Okay. So you're going to want to take all those out. Now, how do you do that? Flathead screwdriver. It's a two step process for each one. Uh, basically you'll see a flat um, opening and you stick it in. And then you'll see um, this small piece will protrude out. Step back here, and then you just pull that out. 
Now, sometimes, guys, just sometimes, the whole thing comes out as one piece when you do that. But say just this smaller piece comes out here, then you'll just grab your screwdriver and use the separate uh, plunger to pull that one out. So then now just repeat that underneath here for the other four. With all of them pulled out, you'll notice here that this plastic piece um, comes pretty loose. There's like almost like a little spot right here where you can, you can grab and pull it down. Just do this really gently, guys. It's nothing, nothing really that's gonna break here, but be gentle. And so once it's kind of in this hanging position here, you don't pull down anymore, you pull towards you. And then when you pull towards you, the whole thing just drops. Now there's two wires here. Uh, you don't have to disconnect them. There's one for the passenger uh, footwell light and another one for this mysterious speaker there. And maybe uh, somebody could tell me what that speaker is for in the comments below. Okay, so for this part, it's not too tricky, but you're not gonna really be able to get your head up in there. So it's best just to use your cell phone or camera and then you can look up inside and wow, there we go. That is your uh, computer for your infotainment system. And if we look even closer, we can see the serial number right there. Now, if we go over that serial number and match it to what we looked at on the Tesla parts web, uh, we can show that that there is a hardware three computer. Now, some of you might be asking Trev, how do I put this mess back together? So it's pretty easy to do here. Uh, you'll have this one piece here. You'll remember that we kind of had it here, then we pulled out. So you're gonna push it back in onto that metal clip. Um, and then basically once it's back there, you'll just push up to click it in. So I have to put down the camera to do that right now. Okay, and there we go. So we have that plastic back in. Took a few love taps to get it back in right, but no big deal. So now we'll basically just take these little clips and put them back in. So first one first, then the second, and then just do that for the other three. Okay, we are done and that's all back together. And just a quick note, sitting here seemed to be the best spot to get good leverage to kind of get under there and, and put all those clips back in properly uh, without craning your back too much. Okay guys, so that is how you tell if you have a hardware three full self-drive computer already in your Model 3. It only takes about 10 minutes to kind of get that stuff in there, get a look, and then you know whether you have to ask for an upgrade or not. And there's no confusion, there's no wondering. That is definitive and the only real definitive way that I could see to know 100%. So if this video did help you guys out, it's a huge deal to us if you like and subscribe. It helps us with our channel growth and our YouTube rankings and stuff like that. We want to grow the channel. We love this. Uh, this is like the best piece of technology I've ever bought. And I love uh, going over it and solving these little mysteries. So uh, we really appreciate it if you guys do that. Talk to you soon.